Yo, what up, guys? It's Sun TJ, and welcome to Fan Fishing Clash. I usually do this on every Friday if I'm not too tired. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know why y'all guys wanted this fight, but I can understand because they're both gods. They're both practically the same type of character. They both got rage. They both want. Re they want. They both want revenge. They're both demigods, but if you're a fan of one of these characters, you're not gonna like the results. <laughs> but enough spoilers. Let's begin. Strength. Both of these guys are all about the physical combat. They're pretty damn strong, but I gotta give it to my boy Asura because the dude can punch through energy beams that can destroy planets. <laughs> Fucking ease. <laughs> Look, um, our Kratos, don't get me wrong, he is physically strong. He is strong, but uh, he's not that strong. So I gotta give the strength towards Asura. Destruction. Kratos is a boss when it comes to destruction. He could he took on Zeus, he took on all his gods, but Asura took on the god of his verse. It destroyed him with with attacks, physical attacks, everything that equivalent to like a small galaxy while Kratos have like island level of total de pure destruction. So I gotta give destruction overall to Asura because a man could blow up planets, blow up the galaxy with full power. So yeah, destruction goes to Asura. Range. Both of these guys are majority of the time melee fighters, but I gotta give it to Asura because the man has like six arms. He can do giant laser beams. And I know Kratos has his weapons that give him range and he has these long ass chain weapons, but I gotta give it to Asura because the man shoots energy beams with six arms. I gotta give it to Asura on range. Durability. Like in the destruction department, what Asura gives out, he can take. He can take like galaxy-like hit and survive. He survived the god of his verse. And Kratos, don't get me wrong, he has willpower and he can survive a lot of his. But he almost he almost died from his from the sword of Olympus, and that can kill gods. And Asura survive will probably survive that and take it with stride. While Kratos practically almost died. So I gotta give overall durability to Asura. Speed. This is another domination by Asura. The man traveled throughout galaxies in minutes. Kratos is fast, but he ain't that fast. That is some. He is. Asura is massively faster than the speed of light. So, winner in speed, Asura. Stamina. Both Kratos and Asura re never really get tired in their video games and story. They just. They're that. They have so much stamina. Kratos with the Titan's willpower. And Asura with his just god power and all these guys are gods. But I gotta give it to Asura because I just he does a lot more powerful things and still not depleting in energy. So I give gotta give the overall stamina to Asura. Intelligence. Overall these guys are equal in this part because they both got anger management problems. They know how to fight, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> so overall intelligence draw. The winner is the demigod Asura. And I know Kratos fanboys and people that just don't know Asura are going to be really salty, but bruh, Asura is around God Goku level. He's around Saint Seiya. He's around those guys' this level. And Kratos, he's badass. He's strong. But I was afraid when y'all voted for this guy that he's going to get stomped. And they are similar in story ideas, but in overall power, Asura stomps Kratos. But, um,. Yeah, the next fight should be the second most voted one on that poll. And I think it was uh, Keneki first. I I'll figure it out. But thank you guys for watching. Like if, uh, like if you liked the video. Dislike if you dislike the video. I love y'all. Peace. Sun TJ out.